Hello, Steve Long here. Today we're going to take a look at cleaning and protecting concrete, talk about the reasons why, and also the best products to do it with. The top part of a concrete slab is called the cap. It's a quarter inch of a slurry of sand and cement. It is smooth, but it covers underneath of it the large aggregate that's in the slab. Moisture intrusion, along with de-icing salts, causes spalling due to freeze-thaw through the winter. So I'm going to clean and protect this existing concrete slab. And I'm going to use Prosco 2010 All Surface Cleaner, a safe to use detergent which has degreasing capabilities ideal for concrete. First I pre-wet the surface, then I apply our material either in concentrate or diluted form with agitation. I'm going to let it dwell for about 10 to 15 minutes, just don't want to let it dry. And then we can power wash. So once we've let the 2010 All Surface Cleaner dwell, now we're going to clean with high pressure water. We're going to use about 600 to 800 PSI here, going in a back and forth motion. And you can see it's not enough pressure to etch the concrete, but it's enough pressure to be able to get the dirt out of the pores. As you can see it moving. We're going to get a good rinse. And now a slab that's about 8 to 10 years old looks relatively new. And now I'm going to waterproof using Prosco SaltGuard WB, a clear penetrating water repellent. It's a silane and siloxane blend, highly breathable, will not change the appearance of the concrete. I always like to apply SaltGuard WB with a pump sprayer. Reason being is that we can get the material out in a uniform coat. Using a roller can be done, but it often leaves holidays because the roller will leave larger amounts of the material in some sections, and as it uh, rolls out, will leave less. The spray is going to give us a much more uniform application. And we're doing this part ways so we can see the results once it's cured. Salt guard WB needs about six hours before exposure to rain. Once we get to a full cure, you can see what happens. Here you can see the part that was not treated is wetting out, and the part that has been treated is repelling the water. You can see the water just rolling right on down the uh, treated surface. It's actually a pretty dramatic uh, illustration of how the uh, water is not penetrating into the concrete. And now we just have a beating effect in the areas that's been treated and you can see where the untreated surface is wet. 